YouTubers, what's up? And today, uh, this is um, gonna be a video of my mock. Almost finished. I gotta get that other base plate, and my brick arms are in. But um, yeah. So, and about this, like what you see right now, um, with the Germans and everything. <clears throat> I I was wondering if you actually wanted me to make this a mock or um this or you could vote to be like um like just vote in the comments down below just to see like whether um or not this should be like my starting screen but until like the vote is decided I will be using this as my um screen to start off with or my little area and so let's move on so here I have it it's this is a bird's eye view of it and um yeah so let's get down to it um guess we're gonna let's start off with the japanese soldiers because i really never start off with the enemy so i now i will just put this on okay so basically we have um this bunker right here which uh, i did a, i did a lot of improvements over the past few days and I added this bunker in and stuff. Um, so basically, I gotta add more to it, but I wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, it's gonna be a two-story bunker. It's gonna be down there in like um, the area where their guns are. And there's three different bunkers that connect. And then up here, if you get to the stairs right here, and then you go up there with uh, Captain Johnson or something. Um, like, well, that's his body and his face. Um, you come like to the command room where uh, there's gonna be tables, chairs, um, some computers, and um, a map. And uh, so we have my Japanese commander right here. If my camera will focus, like it never does. Um, I don't really want to mess this up, so I'm gonna put him back. And then we have Captain Johnson. Special thanks to Brick Arms for their pad pad printing. That was that. That was him. And then, and then I want to take this roof off real quick. Or not roof, just like the second floor. Oh no! All right, I think that could stay there. Oh, I just give me a second. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I'll just take this off. I don't know, that doesn't really matter. Um, oh gosh, I need to get some light in here. No? You don't want to focus? No? Well, basically, we have this three-way bunker. And, uh, there's going to be some more Japanese soldiers in there. Whether or not I decide to put any more in there from the battlefield, because most guys are not really doing anything. So, um, there was that guy who, he's just, like, pointing his hand and uh, something but that's where the mg is gonna go another mg and another mg and up there uh that will be a destroy bunker right up there because uh i had the i can't get another mg so i only have three mgs and i want to put them in here um so that's basically what i want to do Wait, what is in here <laughs> random pieces are in here Oh yeah, and if you see this mass of like these colored bricks and other dark ones, because my other blaze plate, base plate, I can't talk today, is coming, and I'm gonna put all mud behind here because they basically clean this out, the Japanese, and then I'm gonna put all this mud back here, like it, like this was an actual building, and then well it is, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, or if you don't, um, so here I'm just turn it so you can actually see every guy on the Japanese soldiers um today this is what I've been working on to put them in formation so um start off right here in the trench and then I'll go to the Americans so uh, right here we have this custom printed body this is my printed body uh body and if you ever get this like, not this body, but if you ever get the Brick Arms, or not, the Citizen Brick Marine, um, and if you touch his torso, um, it's gonna be like this, cause, um, I printed it, like, Lego printing, and so does, um, 
the citizen brick. So that's what you should really try out. And um, that's how it feels. There, you can't feel it like um, the pad printing that Brick Arms does. Or I don't. I think uh, they do CGI on these ones, computer generated images, and put them onto the on the marine. Um, and here we have my other soldier, like a random Japanese soldier, with my decal that I got um, off of Google. Um, he does not have any Brick Arms weapons. I actually ran out by giving it all to my Americans. Um, so I just used, or I just gave them cool weapons that, um, because most of my Germans have the Mausers and, like, MP40s. So, um, I just gave them really weapon, really cool weapons that I found. Um, and then over here we have another Japanese soldier in which I really don't want to move. And then he has a Thompson, or not a Thompson, a, uh, well, machine gun there, but it's not, it's not Japanese, it's a, Eh, I don't know. It's like a gang or like a you know a gang gun or the mafia. <laughs> One of those Thompson guns they have. Uh, another guy with a brick arms gun, with, which is a Russian gun. It's camouflaged with um, black and uh, I think black and is that brown? I can't see to this camera. Yeah, black and brown. Um, here we have a guy running with a tomahawk. Um. That I got from the Lone Ranger set. And, yeah. That's basically him. And then, um, where else? What else? What else? Uh, we have, oh yeah, this is a really cool body that I, well, not a really cool body, but not the body, but this really cool backpack thing. It's not just a backpack. I need some light. Like, it's like a, one of these. You know, like a combat thing I put on my Japanese soldier. And I have another one, but it's not like this one. It's a different one that I put on. Um, I didn't put it on, actually. I wonder where it is. Eh, never mind. But, uh, oh, I actually found it. Never mind. Um, it's like this. That's basically it. Um, so now the Americans. Um, a few guys need some helmets. Um, so he, like I said, he's throwing a grenade to hit these guys, which are trying to make a plan. Um, here we have my commander of the whole battalion or company, and he has a bazooka. Here we have my first lieutenant with a brick arms over molded Colt pistol. It's blue. I didn't order it in blue because it came for free. Um, here, a freebie, and here we have a, like a, my other custom, well not really custom, but, um, my, the helmet's custom, just a random marine, and he has a M1 Grand, and then here we have my, uh, other marine, which his, like, you know, his necklace, or, no, not a necklace, like his necktie or scarf is, in the front of his face, and then you can see his mad eyes, and then he has a trench gun. Um, right here we have a, um, like a, another marine with, um, he needs a helmet that I ordered with a shotgun, and he's being, like, hit with a barrage of bullets or a ricochet of bullets by the, like, the Thompson gunner over there. Um, here we have my really cool new... <laughs> Medic that I love, like, I'm not love, like, love, but, um, he has a really cool face, he has a satchel with a grenade slung on, he has a Nabu pistol, Nabu, I think, and I think it's a Papa, because it's the biggest, um, and then we have, he has an M1 Grand, which he is running forward into the fight. What, I need to move this over here. Yeah, turn. Um, here we have another Marine running right there. With the M1 Grand, another Marine just taking cover with an M1 Grand, um, another Marine running to the truck with an M1 Grand to tell them something, another Marine shooting with an M1 Grand, um, another Marine who needs a helmet and a de he has a decal on, the same decal you saw with this Marine. All those green Marines like this have um, this decal, and the other Marines like the sandish green. Do not have decals. And he's just shooting. And then here, 
We have my Rambo type guy. <coughs> he has two MP40s and he's just shooting them. Like, like no matter where the bullets land, he's just gonna shoot them. Um, and he's trying to shoot this guy too, but he's not really working. It's a radio man and my custom radio backpack. Um, special thanks to Brick Arms for giving me the pieces in the in a flamethrower guy bag. Um, and then here we have my other Rambo type, in Ramboish guy with two um, pistols, and then they're running to he's running to kill somebody. Um, and that's basically it. Moving on to the vehicles. Here we have my Jeep. My Willy's Jeep. Which is just, you know, parked and no one's using it. And uh, some guys are going to use it. I guess use it as cover. Here's my favorite part. Well, not really favorite. My favorite vehicle is my new and improved tank. It is boss. Alright, it doesn't look like the same tank you saw. No. Alright, maybe... But ah no ah okay I just broke the tank now I gotta fix it but that's my favorite part of the whole thing and then or the whole vehicles uh I don't know I don't know I'm knocking everything down and I forgot to put things in the video all right so right here we have my really favorite part not my other favorite part. Um, we have the truck. The truck is really cool because if you just get a view like this, 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 you can see we have a different guy than the last time in the driver's seat. A, like a guy with a life jacket and he's an MP, military police. Um, here we have another guy who needs an M1 helmet. Uh, or make heat the cap on, you guys can vote. Um, and then here we have my Rambo guy. That I customly made um, for uh, Rambo. So, yeah, that's basically it with two, his two Thompsons. And um, thank you guys for enjoying this video with me. Um, please rate, comment, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys. This is Jethawk777 signing out.